what's going on you guys welcome back to another youtube video and today i'll be showing you how to add trails to parts or tools in roblox studio it works for both of them so the first step we're going to need to do is we're going to have our uh... sword so this is our sword this is the one that we're going to be adding a trail to so the first thing we're going to do is, is just make it upright so it's standing up like this because it's way easier to actually add the trail when it is like this so we're gonna go inside the part or we're gonna go inside the tool we're gonna find the part you'll see the handle you're gonna insert a trail now don't stop watching now because we are not done just yet so the next thing we're gonna need to do is insert an attachment here and we're gonna call this one attachment zero duplicate that attachment and then attachment one so now we have two attachments attachment zero and attachment one what you're going to want to do is drag attachment zero to the to the uh, point where you want the trail to start and attachment one to where you want it to end at and then you're going to go into the trail and then click your attachment zero and your attachment one and if we go into here or if we go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and test it just to show you guys. And then I'm going to show you how to actually customize your trail. Make it like have multiple different colors instead of just being plain white. It's actually very, very simple. But now you can see that we have our trail for our sword. If we drop it, it should still work. So yeah, it's, it is pretty cool. And now we are going to get into the properties. So there's a few properties that we have here. Uh, the first one I'm going to be looking at is the color, which basically lets you to edit the color. So let's say you want a little green here, a little what like blue teal here. Uh, let's uh, put pink there. Why not? Why not? And close. If we play now, uh, I forgot to put the sword in starter pack, but it should just fall and should be able to grab it. Okay. So if we hold the sword now, it should have a cool looking trail like this. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that you can make it look like that. We also have the face camera, it just makes it so the uh, trail faces your camera. Uh, light emission and, and light influence, I don't know what those do at all. Uh, texture, I if you want like a custom texture, you'd enter the asset ID here. Texture mode, you can change the mode of the texture. Uh, the transparency of the trail you can change that here enable or disable just make sure enabled is on in lifetime that's how many seconds your trail lasts before it disappears so since we're doing a sword uh, I recommend using 0 0.5 or, or 0 0.5 to 1 that's the best and max length max length it can get min minimum length minimum length that the um, trail can get and width scale which is basically how wide the trail is so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial and i will see you guys in the next video peace out and also if this video did help you out please like and subscribe uh really hoping to get at least 2000 subscribers before the end of may i'm at like 1.95k now so if you could please like and subscribe that would do me a big favor and also uh according to youtube analytics uh, I have to actually show this because every YouTuber does this. According to YouTube Analytics, it's like 0.4% of people are actually subscribed. So, um, if this video helped you for like the last time, I know I've said it so many times, then please, uh, yeah, this is just sad if you actually look at it. 0.4% <laughs> of my viewers are subscribed. But, uh, anyways, like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.